Have you sometimes looked at your D10 chart? The sums are chart, not D1, D10. There's a chart which tells you about your career. Yes, literally there is a chart inside your chart. <laughs> That's a divisional chart. The D10 chart, the Shamsha chart. It's like, imagine you have your 10th house in the D1 chart and you zoom into it. You go more inside. What happens? You see certain things. <laughs> which you don't see from the top when you go inside. So that's exactly what is the D10. So if you are wondering how to study the D10, well, there are a lot of videos in my channel, but today, today we have a very special topic. Five most important planets of the D10. See, the D10 chart will tell you the literal circumstances. Have you heard the word literally? Yes, it's literally how your profession is going to be. It is not so much the chart of, you know, name, fame. It is certainly, no doubt about it, because career uh, success gives you name, fame. But it literally tells you about your circumstances at work. So therefore, it's a very important chart. Now, you may be thinking, okay, uh, the D D10 chart is like static. So uh, what do you mean circumstances in your career? You know, because uh, my circumstances keep changing as per my new job, right? Well, certainly it does because your dashas are changing. So the dashas will dynamically try to change the flavors of the D10 chart. All right. So therefore, very, very, very important. The D10. Don't miss the D10. Number one planet that you should check in your D10. And this is non-negotiable. This is Saturn. Why? Because he's the Atma Karaka for the, the Samsa chart. Who is the Atma Karaka for the D9 and the D7? Please write it down in the comments. Let me see who is the first one who can write. I will put a heart in that. All right. D9 and D7. Who are the Atma Karakas? Please write it. Please write it down. Now, Saturn is one of the most important brands, if not the most, I mean, officially it is. But what does Saturn do in the D10? The, the planet Saturn in your D10 chart will tell you what kind of area, where, where should you work hard and where you will need to work hard. So, for example, if in your D10 chart, Saturn is in the fourth house, what does it mean? It means that you will not be able to rise in your profession till the time you master the fourth house. What is fourth house? Fourth house is knowledge. Till that time, see, if you do everything else and you don't do that, it will not work. So it is that area where you have to grind. Wherever Saturn is there in your D10, that is where you have to grind in your profession and that is non-negotiable, all right? So therefore, if you feel your career is not going anywhere, then ch check the D10 and see where Saturn is. That is where you are lacking the grind. All right. So crush it there. Otherwise, everything else is just superficial. <clears throat> Number two, second planet, very, very, very important planet. In your Lagna chart, who is the, not Lagna chart in general, who is the Karaka for the 10th house? Well, it's Mercury, Mercury, Sun, Saturn. So Mercury, you must see Mercury in the D10 chart also. Why? Because Mercury will tell you where should you develop your skill. If you don't know where should you develop your skill and you are just working hard in some area, <clears throat> then it will not make sense. So for example, let me give you an example. Suppose in your D10 chart, Saturn is in the third house. So Saturn in third means you are you have to grind in uh, you know marketing advertisement presentation uh, speaking and all this you have to grind there, but you have to grind with what you have to grind. So suppose now Mercury is in your tenth house in your D10 chart. All right. So then this means you have to grind in matters of the third house, but related to the tenth house, which is you know leadership. So maybe you have to give some leadership seminar leadership, coaching, you know, th these kind of things, administration, uh, management and all this. So that is one area which you can uh, try to tap into. That is where you will be benefited. Number three, of course, no doubts on it. The sun. The sun is very important in the Dashamsha chart because the sun is where the light is. 
which means wherever the sun is placed in the D10, that is where you might get name and fame. And it's not very simple, like, you know, sun is in 10th house in D10, I'll get name fame from uh, the government services. No, it's not so, so, so simplistic. Okay, but if sun is there in a particular house, in your D10 chart, if you don't activate that chart, it will not work. Which means, suppose you have sun in the 10th house in D10 chart, then it means you have to take some initiative. So suppose you are into IT and you are a software developer. So after one, two, three years, maybe two years, you have to, you know, take some leadership role. You have to tell your manager, you know, I, I, I want to man manage, you know, new newcomers, you know, because now I am now now I'm experienced, not because I am senior, but I can. So Sun is where you have to take some voluntary initiative and you have to go and grab the opportunity because the sun, sun, see the sun shows up every day, right? So you have to go and do the task and nobody will tell you wherever sun is in the detail, nobody will tell you to do it. You have to do it. And the more you do it, the more you will shine. Okay. So therefore, sun, Mercury, Saturn, and these are not in order. Right, all the three are very important. Number four, very, very, very important. You need to check Jupiter. Why Jupiter? Because Jupiter is the karaka for auspiciousness in life. Jupiter in your D10 will tell you who are those people who will help you in your profession. So, for example, if Guru is in your Lagna, then somebody will come and uh, Lagna in the D10, not D1. Then somehow somebody will come and tell you, oh, my dear sir, madam, this is what you should do. If you do, because see, the guru shows your mentors in the D10. So if you have good mentors, you can, you can literally bypass. I'm telling you, you can bypass 10 years of your profession in six months or maybe one year. The salary that you can get at 30 with a great mentor Will be maybe will be maybe even more than somebody who does it without a mentor, you know, at the age of 40 or 45 or even 50. You may bypass 20 years. Okay. So therefore, having the right mentors is essential and that is non-negotiable. Okay. So therefore, wherever Guru is, again another secret, wherever Guru is in the detail, go and ask help from that area of life. So if Guru is in your fifth house, go and ask help from your subordinates. They will help you. Don't fear. <laughs> of course, asking help does not mean you just you just go and surrender. You know, I don't know anything. You know, you show me how to do. No, no it's not that. But you can show that you are, are doing something and uh, this is where you are stuck and this is what you have already done and this is where you are stuck now and then you can ask for help, okay? If Guru is in the ninth house, then uh, seniors, okay? Seniors in your profession or 10th house, then your boss uh, especially. So therefore, Guru, very, very, very important, okay? And who's the last planet? <laughs> the last planet is your the planet with the second highest degree okay so in your horoscope you have planets with degrees right you can see the degrees so there the planet with the highest degree is called as atma karak and the planet with the second highest degree is known as amatya karak the amatya karak in the chart shows your profession now the amatya karak in the d10 will tell you what kind of skip see because these are Gemini Karaka. So they, they tell things which you are carrying from previous lifetime. So wherever the Amatya Karaka is placed in the D10, that is where you might have some natural traits and talents and interests and skills. So that is something which you are already blessed with. All right. So why not use it? So for example, uh, if your Amatya Karaka is in the 10th house, then you are naturally, you might be naturally blessed with leadership. So now it becomes very easy for you to go and take some leadership position. Now you don't have to get, you know, motivation and all this uh, crap to take up some leadership role, right? So therefore, very, very important. Don't forget these five planets. Saturn, the area of grind. Mercury, where you need to develop your skill. Sun, where you need to take voluntary leadership. 
initiative and your jupiter places people where who will help you and your uh, amatte karak uh, who who will tell you what traits skills and talents you are carrying from your previous lifetimes all right thank you very much for your patience and if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about the d10 god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and for personalized consultations you can find my website down in the description section don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new all right take care